Welcome back, everyone. Here we are at Time Manor. All of our villagers are just getting up and getting ready to go to work. I have been contemplating this area right here. And also this area right here. Over the last a couple days, trying to figure out what can I possibly do to make this really nice. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a wine cellar. And so I'm going to go ahead and put shelves all along all of these walls. And then put in some wine bottles. And the best option that we have for wine bottles would be um, little bottles. Uh, bottles of potions things like that so i think i'm going to move my potion room down here set it up and then also want to try if i can come up with an, a way to make some wine barrels in here i think some wine barrels in here would be also really nice that way um our taverns have a place to brew their beer and also to serve wine at the taverns now up here on this level i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in shops in here so i'm going to go ahead and move our little merchant that always comes and visit us and put him in here and then set up some little shops in here so that all of our villagers have a place to come shop for food um, equipment a places for their bedrooms, you know, beds, chests, crafting tables, all that kind of stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this room. And we'll also need to put in some lighting. We might go with the double ceiling on this so I can actually put some lighting in up there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get all of that done. It's a bright morning here at Thai Manor and I need to cook up a little bit more glass i do not know how much i need but we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves some more glass going we need some glass bottles and i think i have more than enough i believe i have more than enough yeah i'm spitting them out already okay i brought a shulker box here I thought I already bought out a shulker box. Apparently not. Okay. Lots and lots and lots of water bottles. And we will turn some of these pre color. Hey, okay, I'm not going to need the rest of that. Stuff that sand melted. I don't know. You never know, do you? All right. Looks like more than enough. Okay, I could probably do about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Okay, let's take these in. Leave all this stuff out here working. And we will go in and take a look at the little area that I put up. Now, one of the things I want to do on the way through here is go ahead and grab our little merchant sign we have sitting out here give me that thank you i'd have an item frame okay and here is our new merchant stall because think i tried to come up with everything i could find in the game i've got note blocks jukeboxes anvils everything i could think of that would be in the game. Let's go ahead and set this in here. That we could possibly sell. I even did a ender chest. Some pots. Some plants. Lots of paintings. We got food in here. We got a bed in here to sell. Nice little cake. Ooh. I was going to say if I was hungry. I was going to go ahead and eat a piece off of it. Maybe it's for show. Here comes our merchant. Look at what we did for you. You like this place? You like it? This is your new shop. You sell all of this stuff to all of our uh, little villagers. Thank you so much, Mr. Merchant. What are you selling today? We got a necromancer coming. Eggs. Ooh, I should do that lapis. And that wool. 
Hey, that lapis and wool. I'm back. Here's my lapis. Oh, that is so sweet. And here's some wool. More lapis. More wool. You don't buy as much lapis. I thought it was 32. Pretty nice. Okay, there's a chest around here somewhere. There's a chest. Go ahead and plop those in there and those in there. Yeah, forget that they're there. Okay, so our little merchant area is all done. Even sells armor and tools. And then we also have some, uh, let's call it jewelry up here. Yeah, some nice little jewelry we've got. So I think this turned out really good. And finally, this area is done. I'll tell you, I puzzled over this so much what to do with this area right here. All right, down into our brewery. So we've got shelves all lined up along here, all for our wine be distilled over here. And then I made a beer vat. And I'm not too sure that it quite looks like a beer vat, but for Minecraft, I guess it works. Don't you think? So we've got uh, some nether wart growing all along in here too. And so what I want to do here is go ahead and put in my little bottles and get me my nether wart, please. And let's go ahead and make up some colorful bottles that we can put up here on our nice shelves. And I'm probably going to have to go ahead and look it up because I always forget how to make them. I know you have to do the nether wart and that's about all I know. And I also put in some wheat along here. There is wheat beer. There's also barley beer. And so I figured that they were using this to um, make a wheat beer, barley beer. And then also they do put in flowers. Um, so into flavored ones. Uh-oh, farmer took one point of damage. Fell off of something. Uh, looks like you are in the farm area. Hmm. Okay, so what else? Okay, so now let's see. I do have these. So let's go ahead and put some of these up. Let's get rid of one of these there. Very nice. Okay, I got two more all done. One there. And one here. All right. I will continue working on this little area. Oh, wow. When they're um, awkward potions, they're like black. Look at that. Oh, no, they're blue. Okay. Just in the little thing, they look black. All right, what can we add to them? Let's do a melon. I think a melon you can add to it. Nope, you can't add a melon to it. Um, listening watermelon. Um, sugar. Okay, glistening watermelon. And I think you can do a puffer fish, if I'm not mistaken. That's like slowness or something like that. Oh, you're working on your fields. Thank you so much. Who is that? Who are you? Diane. Thank you for coming down here and getting us some wheat. Did you replant it though? You didn't replant it. That's not good. All right. Let's see what color these are. So these are potions of healing. Okay. Listening watermelon is healing. And over here, we've got water breathing. That's what those were. All right, let's go ahead and get in three more. And start our nether wart. I will continue to 
go on ahead and work on these and get a lot of really pretty bottles all lined up all along here. Look at all of our wine. All up on the walls. Doesn't that look beautiful? We have a, a zombie somewhere around here. Need to go find them. A couple of other things I didn't show you was I put in some, I don't know, these are supposed to be like beer vats. Um, if we did had the um, barrels, they would probably look a little bit nicer. But I think it looks okay. I think it looks okay. There's some more of it. And you know what? Let's go find this zombie. Oh, we're going to go right here. Where are you? This is not how I came in. Let's see if I can figure out where I'm at and how to get out of here. Where am I? What is this? Oh my gosh, I'm on the other side of my storage room. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, how do I get out of here? I remember I used to be able to get out right here. So let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, give me that, please. Thank you. All right. Let's put all that back. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go back down here. And I bet you we still hear that zombie. Oh, I still got to put this back. Oh my gosh. Listen to him. He's really loud. Where are you? Are you by any chance in here? Oh, I did not light that up when I closed in this. There you are. Okay, I need um that little piece of wood so i can put that in there yeah when i close that in i forgot to uh light it up so i hope you guys enjoyed this little area i want to go see how many people we have in this little mansion and so i'm going to get my book and i'm going to click on here let me click on you you're different okay we have seven beds we have a hundred people that's something to celebrate, don't you think? So, um, we have seven beds available. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a seven children. Oops, what did I put in there? Put that in there. I don't want that rotten flesh anyway. Okay, seven kids, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We might as well go ahead and fill up every bed we've got. All right, how about Arbin? Neelis? Hannah? Nadia? Syrian? Rayburn? And Gillis! Or Gallus! All right, everybody has a bed, right? You guys all have a place to go. We should have seven beds. Oh, everybody, those guys are going off that way. The girls are going off that way. They've all got their own separate sleeping quarters. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was, look at our um, soldiers. Look at him with no helmet. And I did not, I had this in the last village that we played where they wouldn't wear a helmet and i noticed this time that it happened as soon as i got my captain of the guards that all of a sudden some of my soldiers would quit or guards would quit wearing helmets 
So I don't know if there's a glitch when you get the captain of the guards where they quit wearing helmets anymore. There might be a little bit of something in the coding. Uh, okay, over here on our back side, over on this side over here. Uh, this is another problem area for me. I have been just trying to figure out what to do with this whole area. It's huge right here. I'd like to do something really nice. I mean, I thought about putting in trees and, you know, flowers and all that kind of stuff, but I really would like to come up with some really good ideas. So if you guys have a good idea, please let me know. Up on the third floor, I want to go ahead and create an arboretum. And so let's run up there to the third floor. All right, here we are on the third floor. Now I'm thinking we're gonna need pillars. This thing needs some kind of support. Structurally, this would never work. I also have some holes in the ceiling up there that I need to fix too. But structurally, uh, this would never work. It's just way too high. So I've got to figure out how to structurally just make it appear better in here. And then I want to go ahead, this whole middle section, I'm going to go ahead and create an arboreum. So uh, lots of plants, you know, really, really pretty in through here. Lots of lighting, all that kind of stuff. I think it'd be a lot of fun. So maybe an archway, you know, all that kind of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. That was so much fun. Doing all those uh, bottles and making all those potions. It had been a long time since I had actually really sat down and really cranked out a bunch of potions. So it was a lot of fun. This also turned out, I think, really, really nice too. I think um, our merchant's going to be really happy in here. And it's filled up. It looks so much better than it did before. It looks a little junky, but that's okay. Well, I kind of like our makeshift attic. And then I really, really like the wine cellar slash brewery place. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. And you all would like to come back. Are you stuck over there? Seriously, we will see you guys all back next week for another exciting episode that we have here at Time Manor.